Hey everyone, I'd like to share how I do a beam capacity check using MathCAD. So for this example, it's for single reinforced rectangular beam. And for my input data, I'll be providing the material properties and the section properties. Let me just do a quick review. So when a beam is subjected to a flexural load, the tendency is the top section of the beam is subjected to compression while the bottom section of the beam is subjected to tension. That's the reason we provide steel reinforcement at the bottom. This is to resist the tensile stress because steel is very good in tensile strength while concrete is very good in compressive strength. That's why we don't really need to provide reinforcement at the top. We will only provide reinforcement at the top when there's hogging moment or when there's limitation in beam depth. But for this particular example, we'll focus on singly reinforced beam. So let's try to look at the stress block diagram. So according to Isaac Newton, in every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if you load a beam, it will react. So it will produce a tension force at the bottom, which is equal to the area of the reinforcement times the tensile stress. At the same time, it will also produce a compression force which is equal to 0.85 of the concrete strength times the area of compression which is A times B. So originally, the area of compression is in parabolic shape. It looks like that. But to make it simpler, we use an equivalent stress block A to calculate for the compression area. So for the concrete here, by the way, concrete has a very small tensile strength. So we assume the concrete here, this concrete is crack. It's a crack section, so it's only the steel <coughs> resisting the tensile stress. So this doesn't really count. So the compression force C is acting at the center of the block. So the distance from C to T is equal to D minus A over 2. The D is your effective depth, and A over 2 is half of your block depth. So C is equal to T, because summation of all forces must be equal to 0. So C is equal to T, and the resisting moment of steel is defined as T times the moment arm. And the resisting moment of concrete is C times the moment arm. So when you have a couple, two forces on opposite direction, we produce a moment. So for this beam, let's assume the concrete cover is 40 mm and the stirrup or the link diameter is 10 mm.
So as you notice, MathCut is flagging all these variables in red. That's because we don't, MathCut don't know what's the value of C because we haven't defined C. So in order to solve that, we're going to define all equation because we don't know the value of C yet. So we're going to define all the equation as a function of C. ACI code specifies reduction, strength reduction factor. So a spirally reinforced member, we use this. And for others, we use this. So the pin is not spiral, so use this strength reduction factor. So ACI code specifies that if the strain in steel is greater than or equal to 0 0.005, we use 0 0.90, and that's under tension control. And if it's less than the strain, is less than the yield strain, then we use 0.65 reduction factor. It means the member is under compression control. And if it's in between, it's transition. It's under transition zone. So let's define this specification in terms of a Boolean equation. So now we finish defining all equation in terms of, as a function of C. So make sure we put the C there. That one also I added. Let me just check the rest of the equations. Just make sure the equations are correct. C. So for this equation, if the tensile stress as a result of C is lesser than the yield strength, which is given, then we use the tensile stress. If it's greater than the tensile strength, then we use the tensile strength. That's why I put minimum. So that one I also added C there because last time I forgot. Okay, all good. <clears throat> so now let's solve for C. So we use a MathCAD function solve block. It's easier. So we use that and we just guess a value of C. Let's say the value of C is 200 mm. Just a guess. And then we provide a constraint equation or a condition. So the tension force, oops, sorry. So the tension force must be equal to the compression force. And let's ask MathCAD to solve fine for C. So MathCAD calculates C as 155.755. 